Hi, Hi. and welcome, welcome to KBS. KBS. I'm Francesca. I'm Jen. I'm Merrick. And welcome to the last broadcast of the semester. Yay! <laughs> Time has really flown by, don't yeah. you agree? Yeah, it is. How was your first, I mean, it's not over yet, but how was your first semester at OSU? Um, it was pretty hard to get good grade comparing to um, getting good grade in high school because I only studied for an hour for one test and I got pretty good score in it but now I have to study at least a week before pretty hard yeah <laughs> that's college. the transition of college what mm-hmm. about you yeah me like um, for me OSG is a kind of really really large campus and it's a large school so I took a you took that you took a time to get used to it so good it was good hopefully better for next semester though. right yeah now that we have all had some more time to adjust again mm-hmm. yeah how I was know. yours yeah. um uh, my semester has been very hectic um mm-hmm. like i've been very busy um and i've been a part of more things than i was last semester i can tell but <laughs> um but it's been a lot of fun you know i was in um dwj the other week oh yeah yeah during our soccer tournament mm-hmm. um right. you know the dance competition right? yeah you know, unfortunately we couldn't attend it because yeah. we had soccer tournament yeah how was your how was it it was good i mean we got first place yeah, yeah. i'm so, so proud of you <laughs> yeah um I mean, it was a lot of fun, um, yeah, and then the little time I was at the soccer tournament, it mm-hmm. seemed, apart from it being very cold. Yeah, it, it was, seemed. it was super freezing. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get into Bonzon, what is Bonzon? Um, like a like semi-final. Semi-final, semi-final, but they were pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool. and we're gonna have another tournament next semester yeah next semester yeah. maybe in february or something like that but not uh, oh, not oh okay <laughs> got married, right? yeah i think yeah. it's at yeah. michigan state yeah michigan. Uh, or msu or whatever uh, okay yeah. anyway. okay okay today's five minutes discussion the topic is jingmok or bumok in other words do you dip or do you pour your sauce so okay. opinions um, I kind of stand in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really have an opinion that I'm like, I have to dip or I have to pour. Um, but yeah, I just kind of go with the flow and mm-hmm. see. Yeah, okay. same. same. What about you? Um, a super deeper. <laughs> <laughs> I always prefer deep. Mm-hmm. Like, sauces should be dipped. Do you That's have my s- opinion. Oh. Do you have special reasons for that? Um, well, it's, uh, for example, tangsuyu, it's a fried pork, right? Yeah. Fried means crispy. It <laughs> should be crispy. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything fried should be crispy. That's true. And for me, yeah, yeah. I love crispy. But when you pour sauce, it doesn't. Ha- you don't have to dip in every single time. Right. So I guess it's you could say you're saving time. Mm-hmm. I'm saving time, and I'm pretty lazy person. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm saving my energy yeah. for dipping. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I honestly mm-hmm. tend to go more for the pour. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't really think about it a lot. So I just kind of. Pour it once and that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, but um, I know usually kind of, I feel like here in America, it isn't that big of a deal whether you dip or pour mm-hmm. because you usually order your own food. Mm-hmm. But in Korea, where yeah. you usually share food. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's like culture difference. Yeah. Uh, how, like, I feel like it's more important over there. Mm-hmm. How if if there's for example if like half of the table wants to dip and half of the table wants to pour what do you do? I think do you just like gawi bawi bo which is I like rock paper scissors? No, we are no. Uh, someone who wants to dip it. Mm. They just dip it, and someone who wants pour to pour sauce, they just bring the food to their dish and pour the sauce on their dish. I think that's uh. what they do. Yeah. That's the manner. <laughs> That's the manner. For sharing. I mean. mm-hmm. 
or like you can fight. <laughs> They're like make a decision. Uh -huh. They're like argue. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. I forgot that they gave out cyber plates, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I think Jingmokpa, deeper people mm -hmm. are pretty predominant, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah okay. so. Well, good to know. Good mm -hmm. to know. Um, so if you're ever out eating with friends, um, just in general, just, you know, always be considerate and ask. Mm hmm or if just you're curious, just ask. Yeah. So I know we talked about some on-campus events in the past, but what can we look forward to in the future? Okay, Taste of OSU is gonna be held on Ohio Union, I think. Oh, Taste of OSU is an evening of culture, performances on stage, exhibits, and food from around the world provided by more than 30 different international and ethnic clubs on the campus. Food tickets are $1 each and admission Admission to the event is free. Taste of OSU 2020 is on Friday, February 21st, 2020, from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Ohio Union. Yeah. And as you are both um, new to OSU, mm -hmm. uh, have you heard anything about Taste of OSU? No, not at all. Not really, but I heard it's a really popular event and a big events right yeah so it is one of the biggest events here on osu's campus um it is more to as the name suggests um to get a taste because diversity is something that osu values very highly mm -hmm. so there are a lot of ethnic clubs um and they will come and bring their own dishes from uh, um ooh. their countries and then you can go and they're set up like all around the union so it'll be like in the big grand ballroom um on the second floor and in the performance hall mm -hmm. um and other spaces and you just kind of walk around and then you buy the tickets mm -hmm. and then you give the tickets um to the stands where you want to try the food oh, okay. oh, it's like a giant potluck Basically, oh, yeah. Okay. And then some some countries will ask for two tickets mm -hmm. for a certain meal, but some places will only ask for one. It just really depends on, like, um, what they're giving out. Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, last year, um, KSA gave out um, kimbap, mm -hmm. and they gave out veggie kimbap for one ticket mm -hmm. and then meat kimbap for two tickets. Oh. So how much is for a single ticket? For a single ticket, yeah. it's one dollar. It's only one dollar. It's really cheap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And usually whenever you get to the event, you just go to like DTIX, which is um, mm -hmm. downstairs yeah. right beside the Multicultural Center. Mm -hmm. And you just go and there will be a line to buy the tickets and then you can buy as many as you want there and then you can go and feel free to just kind of like nice. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend to anyone and everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Any job opportunity for this? Um, Mr. Sushi in Dublin is looking for a kitchen chef, sushi chef, and also sushi helper. So full time and part time part-time are both available so if you are interested please contact 614-313-5245 yeah mm. write it down <laughs> <laughs> do you like sushi i don't like sushi you no <gasps> no i've way. never tried sushi you no never? way <laughs> really? yeah i've never you tried can't sushi. do that really yeah okay you should you should go to mr sushi and ask for a job and then get some more sushi yeah, I could get a job and then maybe get free sushi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Not too bad of an idea. So, maybe anyone out there? <laughs> yeah. Since I'm a freshman in college, do you guys have any tips for me? Um. Uh, I would recommend to definitely don't be afraid to go out and like mm -hmm. spend time with friends. You are here at the university to study. Do not forget that. But at the end of the day, school isn't your entire life. Yeah. So it's good to like take a study break, hang out with friends. If you're hanging out by yourself in the dorm, sometimes that's okay because you need it. Other times it's like, even if you go study at the library, you don't know who you'll run into. So I'm actually hanging out with my friends every single day. So <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> 
Any tips? And exercise, yeah, you have to de- you have to exercise definitely mm-hmm. because you know keep keep healthy, good for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. keeping healthy is pretty important to keep studying, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it helps to keep you focused, mm-hmm. um, and just keep you on the right track. Mm-hmm. Any other tip? Especially as a freshman, you get a lot of resources offered. Mm-hmm. Um, through the university, so definitely take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that there are also resources for transfer students. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you're ever having a problem, reach out to your RA or someone that you know, and they can definitely help you get into contact with um, someone that can help. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of programs for like uh, freshmen, like yeah, first year assistants yeah. or right. something like that. Yeah. That helped me a lot. Yeah. So there's plenty of things. Just if you ever have a question, feel free to reach out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And last topic today is a little recommendation to go out and explore Columbus. The wild lights in the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium are running from now until January 6, 2020. Central Ohio's favorite family holiday tradition features millions of LED lights animated musical light shows, Santa, reindeer, and other holiday festivities. Ooh. Yeah. So you've been there, right? Yeah, I did go last year, and it was... <laughs> and it was... Um, it was really cool. Um, so I definitely recommend to go try it out. Mm-hmm. Um, take lots of pictures. It is kind of hard to see the animals because it is dark outside. Oh, okay. But, yeah, it's cute. They have little... Um, there are still animals there? Yes. That's like a lot. It's so cold. Like, yeah. It's zoo, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, okay, all right. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So they do, not, they do not hold the events during the day, right? Yeah, because, mm-hmm. I mean, they could probably have the lights on during the day, but, like, you wouldn't really be able to see them. Mm-hmm. So you would want to go at night. Um, yeah, and that would be a fun trip to take with your friends whenever you have some time. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so we talked a lot about, um, you know, our opinions and our past experiences, um, and now we have next semester to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Our broadcasting style is going to change a bit, but again, that's something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. And yeah, how was your first semester in KBS? It was really fun. And it's my new experience to broadcast. Even I'm a Korean broadcaster. I broadcast in English three times and <laughs> in Korean only one time. <laughs> I mean, it was fun though. Yeah. How was yours? Yeah, okay. Um, it was my first time for like English broadcast, and I got a little bit like, nervous, but you did great. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be better. Yeah. It's all it's all fun. Mm-hmm. Nothing to be too too scared about. Mm-hmm. But. Thank you for listening in. This was Francesca. This was Jen. And I'm Eric. See you next, next semester. semester. <laughs>